Hello and welcome to Design Tip of the Week from yesimadesigner.com. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to work with grids in InDesign. So there are two types of grids. You have the document grid and you have the baseline grid. I'm going to explain how to set them up correctly and also how to use them. So whenever you work in InDesign, you will work with images and text and you would like to align them correctly so it gives you a nice composition. Let's have a look at uh, these elements here in InDesign. I just press W so we switch to the normal view. By the way, whenever you press W, you, you can switch to the preview mode. And if you press Shift W, you can switch to the uh, presentation view. If you want to switch back to normal view, just press Shift W again. So first of all, before I do anything, I would like to show you in the preferences under the grids, you can find the options for both the baseline grid and the document grid as well. So here you can change uh, everything, the subdivisions, also the color. Uh, by default, you have blue or light blue for the baseline grid and you have light gray for the document grid. And by default, they are always going to be behind uh, text or images. So they will be in the back. So I'm going to click on OK and I will leave everything uh, the way they are at the moment. And then I show you how to turn them on. You just have to go to the view menu and under the grids option or grids and guides, you can find both of them. So here's the baseline grid and the document grid. So first of all, let me show you the document grid. I'm going to turn this on and you can see, as I said, it's behind the images and the text as well. So it doesn't overlap it, but it's a great way to be able to compose everything in your document. So if you want to be very specific and uh, make sure everything follows this grid in the background, then you can use that. But you have to also make sure that under the view menu, you turn on the snap to document grid option because that will help you whenever you move items around that they will snap to the grid itself. So if I turn that on as well and I zoom a little bit closer and let's say I select these two items and I start moving them, you can see now they are going to be aligned to the grid. So I can make sure that it's uh, aligned there and then I can select these two items as well and align them as well to the grid. I can even see that this image is not following exactly the grid so I can select it and I can drag it in or out to make sure it's going to again follow the grid itself. So now I can drag this in as well and now it's following nicely the grid. Here on the right side as well I can just double check if it snaps to the grid properly. Also at the bottom I can select everything and I can make sure that the images will be inside the margin area. So that's the document grid and it doesn't have to be always on, although if you prefer to work with it, you can have it always turned on. But for now, I'm going to turn it off. So from view menu, I'm going to turn off the snap option first and then I will also turn off uh, the grid itself. So I will hide it. And then let's have a look at this other type of grid. So grids and guides show baseline grid. So what is this useful for? Well, this is mainly to align text in your documents, especially if you work on magazines or books with thinner paper, because there you will be able to see sometimes the text from the other page. So from the other side of your uh, page. And if the text is not aligned uh, in the whole document the same way using baseline grid, then you might find it a bit difficult to read because you will see both uh, the text from the side you are uh, reading and also the other side of the paper. So to avoid this uh, you should use baseline grid and you can see that this text is not following the baseline grid like here at the bottom this is completely out of uh, sync from the baseline grid itself. So it's not enough to turn the grid on just like with document grid, where you had to use the snap option, with text you also have to do something similar. You have to have the text frame selected and then you press T, uh, which is the keyboard shortcut for the type tool. And once you have the options here on the top, you can find the option called align to baseline grid. So if you click on that, then the text will 
automatically snap to the grid and you can see it works perfectly on this text frame but I have to select this other one as well and also select align to baseline grid now in this case it's uh, the text is too big so it jumps every second uh, jumps to every second uh, row so if I make the text a bit smaller after a while it's going to use every row instead now this can also be controlled of course by the baseline grid uh, preference so if I go to the preferences and go back to the grids there I can see that at the moment the baseline grid starts at the top of the page and it in the increment is 12 points so if I increase that or decrease it let's just decrease it for now I'm going to use maybe eight points just to see what happens then you can see with a bigger text size it works quite well so that works quite well on this text here maybe we just need to increase the size of the text frame so it follows it nicely and uh, with smaller text size as well it works quite well so we just have a little bit less space for the text in this case but that's again something we can adjust with the size of the text so if I just zoom out a bit I can select all this text and I can just in, uh, reduce the size of the text or I can also reduce the leading if you reduce leading by pressing ALT up and down arrow you can also control how much uh, space you want to use from the baseline grid so that can be much more uh, closer the lines or uh, further away from each other so that's the way you use the baseline grid and remember under preferences you can set it up as well so remember always select the text frame use the type tool and then click on align to baseline grid in case you want to use this feature so these are the two type of grids remember again on the view you can turn them on and turn them off I can hide baseline grid as well so this is how you work with grids in InDesign I hope you found this useful and uh, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign or Lightroom make sure you join me next time as well here on yesimadesigner.com thanks a lot for your attention don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Also, if you want to learn more about design, check out my in-depth online courses on my website, yesimadesigner.com.